lectures, this is the second part of the bonus unit of the first unit of grade 9 biology, the scientific method. Now, the scientific method can be summed up in seven simple steps of science. So it's not just biology, it's also used in physics and chemistry. The purpose of this scientific method is to legitimize any theory you have or any experiment you have or any discovery you have. You have to go through these seven steps in order to be considered an actual scientific thing. So what may these seven steps be? So let me pretend that I'm a botanist, okay? So I study plants and I'm chilling, relaxing, listening to music when I see a potted plant and I start to realize that my plant isn't growing too well. So that's my observation. That's my first step. That's what I see. And then I define my problem. Well, I wonder what's going to make my plant grow better. So that's my problem and I want to find a solution to this problem. I want my plant to grow. My third step is my hypothesis. I start to wonder what will make my plant grow, okay? So I'm listening to music and I feel pretty stimulated, right? I feel like I could run a marathon. I wonder if plants can listen to music and be stimulated to grow more. Hmm. So that's my hypothesis, it's a scientific guess. See, I'm guessing that music might help my plant grow better. My fourth step is an experiment. I try to actually prove that music helps plant grow. So I organize my experiment. I have two plants, both of the same type. I give them an equal amount of sunlight. I give them an equal amount of water and everything that they need. The only thing I make different is for one plant, a certain interval of every day, I play classical music, while the other plant I give the silent treatment, okay? My fifth step is to record data. So every day I check how each plant is growing. I check if one is greener than the other. I check if one blossoms quicker than the other. So I check all this stuff and I write it down in the form of a table, in the form of a chart, whatever it may be, I record all my data. My sixth step is to analyze. So once I'm happy with all the data I have, I sit down and I compare my results. I try to prove or disprove my hypothesis depending on the data I have. So I sit and analyze everything my, I have. The seventh and the final step is my conclusion. So I say, you know what? With this data that I have, I think music actually helps plants grow better. So that is a silly experiment. I don't even think it's real. I haven't actually tried this experiment, but you can go ahead and try it at home or try your own scientific experiment. You might have a science fair that you have to do in your school. Make sure you follow these seven steps in order to be really considered serious by the judges and make sure to thank me if you win. I'm just joking. So these are the seven steps. They have to be done in this order. For my experiment, if I wanted to be taken seriously by the scientific world, I would write down these seven steps and I'd present them in a journal, my peers would review this journal, they'll give me feedback, and then my experiment could be taken seriously in the scientific world just because I follow this scientific method. So the scientific method has to be done in the order of these seven steps. A good way to remember a list of any sort of thing is by using a mnemonic. A mnemonic. Now, I know it has a very weird spelling, but a mnemonic is a way of memorizing something by relating it to other concepts or other ideas. For example, let's take the first letter of every word in this scientific method. O-D-H-E-R-A-C. This in itself can be a mnemonic. Odher hack. But that doesn't really mean anything, so it's not that helpful. So instead, let's give each letter another word. For example, oh dear, how exciting, really acrobatic cats. All right, that's not a very good example. That's not a very good mnemonic, but you can memorize it as odor hack, or you can memorize it as, oh dear, how exciting, really acrobatic cats. So if this is harder to memorize than the actual original list of observation, defining hypothesis, experiment, recording data, analysis, and conclusion, then stick to the original list or come up with your own mnemonic. Come up with something better than, oh dear, how exciting, really acrobatic cats. Anyway, that's a mnemonic. Those are the seven steps of the scientific method, and it's important to know these steps in this order for any scientific experiment, discovery, or any project that you may have. So this is the end of the second bonus part of grade nine biology. Stay tuned for the second unit of grade nine biology. Thanks for watching.